Hi, and thanks for watching this Finance with Excel video. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to the Solver, which is a very powerful Excel tool that um, will help us to very quickly and easily solve um, our retirement objectives here. Now, to get the Solver, you need to go to File, and then you come to Options. And then in the options, you click here on add-ins. And then this is the list of all the add-ins that Excel has built in. If you haven't already installed it, you'll have to click on this uh, solver add-in, and then you will, um, you will have to install it. And <clears throat> once you have installed your, uh, your solver add-in, um, you just come here to your data tab and your solver shows up over here in the analysis um, tab. So what the solver, the solver does exactly what it says it does. Um, so let me just show you what the solver does. The solver says set objective, so you just pick some cell, equal to a value of something by changing very uh, particular cells and then you can also set constraints you can say like this cell has to be greater than that that has to be less than that and then it will solve the if the solution exists excel will solve it for you um, using various numerical methods um, but so now we have to set some objective cell equal to a specific value so let, let's create an objective cell obj now the objective here is uh, to have to have enough um, assets in our, at our retirement in order to make sure that our, our actual assets at the end of retirement are equal to our desired assets at the end of retirement. So if that's the case, then the desired assets minus the actual assets will just be equal to zero. So let's go to our solver. So let's click solver, and we want to set cell D6 equal to a value of zero by changing uh, this assets at retirement B6 and then we don't have any constraints to add to this so then we just click solve in less than a second Excel comes back and it says solver found a solution all constraints and optimality conditions are satisfied we want to keep the solver solution and then we click OK and so now we can see that if we want sixty thousand uh, dollars per year and, and these are the inputs then we're gonna need about two million dollars at the end of retirement so let's say now we you know let's say we only want fifty thousand dollars per year or not five hundred thousand fifty thousand dollars per year at the end then we can just run the solver again so go solver and then we don't have to change anything because it's already put in there and just click solve and then we just see that we've dropped down to one point six eight five million dollars um, of retirement income for the rest uh, or for for to help us manage what we want to do um, so thank you for watching this and um, I hope you enjoyed it